Fenfluramine is the newest medication that has been approved by the FDA to treat seizures associated with lennox gastaut syndrome and Dravet syndrome. It's also called Fintepla. The dosing is weight-based, a point to mix per kick per day, divided into twice a day dosing, and then you can slowly build on that if you find it effective and you're not seeing any side effects. This dosage needs to be adjusted if you're using it with steropentol. Um, quite frankly, I don't know too many people who are using steropentol. I think it's more commonly used in the EU. Um, but if you are on a steropentol, there needs to be a dosage reduction for fenfluramine. It has a pretty novel method of action over there. You'll see serotonin signaling and FFA under it. And that's because fenfluramine works on serotonin signaling and serotonin receptors. Some preclinical data has come out that serotonin modulation is affected in patients with Dravet syndrome. Here's another one with zebrafish data. I'm sorry that the titles of these have cut off, but because of that, serotonin modulation has been a new method of action that Fintepla is using. For those who remember fenfluramine and fenteramine, they used to be combined in a drug called fenfen in the 1990s. Maybe I'm aging myself, but I do remember when this was out. It was an anti-obesity treatment, got pulled off the market due to pulmonary hypertension and heart valve problems. Yes, this fenfen. That's not to be said that it cannot be used by itself in the treatment of epilepsy, but fentabla does come with this boxed warning. Because of the valvular heart issues and the pulmonary hypertension issues, there has to be lots of EEG and echocardiogram monitoring in these patients. Also, checking your liver enzyme tests because your liver enzymes might be bumped in using this medication. I personally have not had a lot of experience with this medication, but if you or your child has, please leave a comment. Some of my pediatric colleagues who have used it have had positive things to say. I do know because of the heart monitoring, um, and also the weight loss, by the way, weight loss is one of the side effects of this medication. A lot of patients don't continue using it. However, in those who are, it seems to be helpful, but let me know.